Today on the channel, we're looking at one of the final wave of Legacy Evolution and the final third of the Insecticons. We're looking at Bombshell on Way I Got It Figured. The Way I Got It Figured. What's up, Transformers fans? The Way I Got It Figured back with another Transformers Legacy Evolution re review. This time, we're looking at the Insecticon bombshell um took a while for me to get this review up um, i got this bombshell uh from a fellow member of the transformers uh group of the dmv and he, he uh picked this figure up and held it for me uh, I'm very appreciative of him doing that for me and um, finally getting his review up. So thank you, Mr. Hilliard, once again. So we got Bombshell here. Uh, the last third of the Insecticons, as I mentioned, um, although it was teased that we will be continuing with Insecticons, uh, by them finishing also the de deluxe Insecticons, which we got ransacked last year as well. Um, so that still leaves Venom, Chop Shop, and Barrage. And purportedly, they're coming. So uh, you're, 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 those are your deluxe Insecticons. And Bombshell, Kickback, and Shrapnel were your sort of regular Insecticons. So at long last... Um, here he is, and his box art is pretty pretty cool. He turns into like a stag, no, not a stag beetle, like a bull weevil. There's some artwork of him on the side. Artwork is pretty cool. Your normal legacy evolution side art. Your QR code, which unfortunately doesn't work anymore. And then on the back, you can see Transforms in 13 Steps. We've got his Legacy Evolution gimmick. And nice product shots. We're not going to belabor the point. I want to get through these pretty quick. So we're gonna get them out and see what we can see. So there's Bombshell out of his package. Um, with Transformers, I usually just put the accessories on them. So his um, two arm things are installed. And they do take blast effects as well as his weapon which also takes blast effects and then of course he has a um on his mortar he's got a port for blast effects there as well and he looks good but there are some things that we have to discuss so you know these these latest uh transformers generation figures are supposed to be um, evocative of their appearance on the cartoon and everything like that in their, you know, makeup and posability and um, general aesthetic. And of course, yes, this does look like Bombshell, but it doesn't look like Bombshell from the show. It looks like Bombshell from the toy. And by that, I mean um, Bombshell did not have a purple chest on the TV show. He had a gray chest and, uh, so this is basically technically inaccurate. Then on top of that, there's the other somewhat bad news that just like with the Stunicons and Breakdown being the last one, he is not his own full mold. He is a retool of shrapnel. And I'll go through that in a bit, but just to show you what parts are shrapnel, just visually, um, his legs, this this whole this whole bottom half is shrapnel. Uh, the circular parts of the arms right here, 
are shrapnel. And, you know, basically the lower arms are shrapnel. All this is shrapnel. All of this. So you got a new chest, a new head, that part. And you got um, a new back. The back is different. Hilariously, there's this little peg here. There's no 5 millimeter port on his back, which is weird. He's the only, the only one that doesn't have that. Which is going to make it difficult for flying scenes and stop motion and stuff like that. But, you know, what, what can you do? But, despite all that, um, I don't 100% fault them for the, for the reuse. Because it does look good. And the original shrapnel, uh, you know, from 1985, you know, he had this weird hollow leg system that, I don't know, whatever. This is, this will work, you know. I would prefer that all three of them were their own guy, just like I would have preferred all five Stunicons be their own guy. But, um, but that's not the case. So, um... You know, articulation-wise, he is very well articulated. You can see he's got leg swivels. He's got knee bend pretty good there. You can um, even pivot his feet uh, down. And he has, obviously, ankle rocker. as is uh, modern Transformers get. Uh, he has waist swivel, which of course is partially due to his transformation. And with the mortar there, it's going to compromise his head movement. And he just has side to side, no up or down, but that's okay. Uh, bicep swivel. Arm swivel. And elbow bend. And of course, you can do T pose. This, this, these move out of the way for transformation. So he's he's pretty well articulated. And like I said, he does look good despite his uh, shrapnelness. All right, so we're gonna get uh, Bombshell transformed into his insect mode and check that out. We've got Bombshell in his insect mode. And, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Not too difficult to transform, uh, just, you know, Pretty standard. Looks like a robotic insect. And there is a little tab. I didn't do that right. You can tab in the insect head piece. Yeah. It looks good. Again, there's the you know there's the vestiges of shrapnel floating around there. Um, but, uh, but yeah. It works. All right. I'm going to get him transformed back into robot mode and we will do some comparisons. All right, so we're back with Bombshell and his Insecticon comrades, Kickback and Shrapnel. Um, so, of course, Kickback is his own figure, even though he was reused to make um, Ransack. Um, but in this, he's his own guy. So with Shrapnel, 
And the bombshell, of course, is using parts from shrapnel. So it's great to see the Insecticon team uh, together. Their own little identities. And that's, that's pretty cool. Um, as for Bombshell, you know, his character, he's a, just, he's a sadistic manipulator who could use cerebral shells to control uh, victims. And uh, he has a cruel sense of humor and he makes them just debase themselves for his amusement. Um, but you can, uh, you know, extract a cerebral shell and then use it against them, which you saw... A lot of this you actually saw in the cartoon. So you had that. Um, and the Insecticons, you know, because they were sort of like Rite Aid Transformers. And by that I mean they were of a lower price point than, um, than a lot of other, you know, Call, like the auto buy cars and stuff they were like a, an order lower of price than them you could get these guys at walmart i'm not walmart rite aid and that sort of thing back in the day and it always seemed like with characters like this um you know they always gave them cool cool powers made them a little bit more cooler in personality according to the tech specs probably you know to get you to buy them you know so they made them even though they were like small and let you know relatively simple you know they made them somewhat somewhat on the powerful side so that you felt like you were you know getting a worthy figure to go along with your collection and that was always cool so we got those guys um but of course you know you always have to have uh the scale standard bear and while Optimus Prime I usually use for the Autobots, you know, Decept Decepticons, you know, we just go ahead and bring in Megatron since they're exactly the same size. So you can kind of see uh, where, you know, they're, they're little guys compared to him. Um, I do f find it interesting that um, from, the, from the top of Kickback's Grasshopper Wings, he's actually... If you go by that, he's actually taller than Megatron. Just a little bit of trivia. Um, but this isn't his video. It's Bombshell's video. So yeah, so there you go. Um, like I said, it's great to have all the Insecticons. And uh, they can double cross Megatron or Megatron can double cross them at your leisure. So now we can move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Insecticon Bombshell. Um, you know, he's a good figure. I like him. You know, I, aside from him being a retool, I think he's great. Uh, I think I gave Shrapnel a 10. If not, I gave him a 9, something like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give Bombshell a 9. Um, these guys are, you know, sort of like G1 originals, so you want to have those in your collection. Um, you know, some people are going to army build these guys, even though I've seen approximately three of them in the wild. Um, it's kind of hard to get them. And they had canceled a bunch of orders at some point, I think, because some of these figures were having, like, the quote-unquote mold issue that was going around a little few months ago. So, you know, you're not swimming in bombshells, but it's also probably because they're getting bought at a pretty rapid clip. So, you know, Insecticons are are popular, popular figures. And I'm I'm really glad to have them. So I think nine is, is appropriate in, in order for this guy. All right, guys. Um, rolling right along here. Still got uh, some Transformers coming in terms of reviews. And, uh... And then we got Death Source looming over the horizon uh, for an early January review as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, unfortunately, no stop motion in this video. Um, 
because I'm using sort of like the Christmas area space. And so, you know, it takes time to do those videos. But you will see Bombshell in a stop motion in the very near future. So until then, um, everybody stay safe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. The way I got it figured.